Hey guys, what's going on? It's your man Charge Virgin here, and today I want to talk about something. Uh, just recently, I watched, like just a few minutes ago, just before I made this commentary, I watched a PewDiePie video. Uh, he's playing day he was playing Daylight, which is a new horror game that came out. He's like, you know, everyone's like, oh, I'll play horror games, and he's just, whatever. Um, that's what I want to talk about today was PewDiePie himself. And uh, I know I talked a little bit about this before when, like, you know, uh, I was talking about my scheduling, whatever. Now, PewDiePie, as you, as I'll, pretty much everyone may know, is on YouTube, uh, is the most subscribed channel on YouTube. He's the most famous YouTuber of everybody. Now, the reason for that is um, it's kind of by luck, I want to say. That's my opinion. I think I think he did it by luck. I think he just was at the right place, and he just had everything work just perfectly for him. And what I mean by that is, he's Swedish, right? He's from Sweden, and there's there was, like, in, in early days of YouTube, you know, he liked gaming, because, like, uh, when he was young, you know, he got sick a lot, and he'd, like, you know, play video games and whatever when he was home alone sick. And... Video games, and he didn't really have much of a social life when he grew up and all that stuff, and so video games were a major part of it. And then when YouTube started to become a thing, he, he wanted to do that. And he had lots of time on his hands because he lived alone, whatever. And um, he was in Sweden, and not a lot of people in Sweden were doing YouTube at the time. And so uh, all these Swedish people are going on YouTube watching, going, Hey, there's a, there's a guy who's on YouTube, and he's doing gaming stuff, and he's Swedish. And everyone's like, oh yeah, sweet, because he wasn't that many people doing it at the time, which kind of makes sense. So everyone's watching PewDiePie in Sweden and, you know, subscribing to him. And then he moves up to Italy to go meet his girlfriend or whatever, to go meet this uh, girl, right? There's his girlfriend now, I think. I forgot. I can't quite remember what her name is. Anyways, and then, you know, like, I don't know. Like, she... And they, he stayed in Italy for a while. I'm not sure how long, but he stayed in there for a little bit. And he did YouTube there, and he started, you know, he knew a little bit of Italian, right, from his girlfriend, whatever. And so he, you know, he became a pretty big deal in Italy for the same reason, because, you know, how many how many YouTubers do you look now, or just people on YouTube that are doing, that are speaking Italian, that just do Italian videos? No, it's mostly English, right? It's mostly English and British. And so, uh... You know, like that's and that's kind of how he built up that subscriber thing, and then he moved to America, and then he moved to the United States, and then he started to do English stuff, and he was already really big. He was already really, like a big guy already. He was already at like I don't know how many how many subscribers he was at by then, but he was always he was already a big deal by the time he got to America. It was you know, it was kind of set in stone that he was gonna be pretty good. Now and then over the years, of course, he, I think he has like not even. 2,000 videos, somewhere around there, somewhere around 2,000 videos out now, and he's just grown exponentially, like, it's just ridiculous, like, Seamus, for example, Seamus has, like, friggin' 12, like, 10,000 videos uploaded, and he's nowhere near, he is not even close to, to PewDiePie, for some reason, I'm not sure why, maybe it's just the personality, because Seamus is, like, Seamus is like that boring, like, guy, kind of, he's kind of boring. Like, his voice and everything is not, like, all spasmodic and, ah, and, like, you know, you know, all that stuff. And he's not quite as insane and funny as, as PewDiePie is. And I guess that's why he's, why PewDiePie is so much more successful than, uh, Seamus. Even though, you know, like, as soon as, like, literally he's so popular, you could put in the letter P in the search bar. And the first thing shows up is PewDiePie. Like, it, it's, it's that ridiculous. Like, I don't... I don't know. I don't know why. And also another thing is because he plays, like I said earlier, he plays a lot of horror games and not so many, not, there's like no channels that really want to play horror games because they're horror games. They're scary. Who wants to, you know, who wants to play a scary game? You know, not a lot of, not a lot of people. I could never play a scary game. Oh my God. Sometimes even during some scary movies, I just like have to stop. Like I'm just so terrified. I just don't want to do it. I just like, holy shit, fuck this. Like, when I play scary games, Fear, when Fear came out, oh my god, I played it, and I was so glad it was done. I was so glad I finally beat it, I was so terrified by then. I shit, oh my god, I was just fucking scared the crap out of, imagine me doing that. Like, I could never, I don't know. 
and also he has a lot of pressure. He, but as as another thing, he has a lot of pressure on him, and that's that's the that's the downside from having a lot of subscribers, is having that kind of stress, and everyone like really really wants to see him, right? Everyone really wants to watch his stuff every day. He so he tries to upload every day, and I don't know, I'm I could never deal with that. Like having that many subscribers, having like millions and millions of subscribers want a video every day. In my time, I can't do that. I can I could never do that. I could never have a video out every day. But that's because he's older and he lives alone and he doesn't have to worry with school and stuff like I do. Now, that being said, uh, he's very good. I like his stuff. I watch him every once, every now and again. You know, he's 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 funny guy. He is. I you know, uh, and him, and I don't know. It's just it's just very strange how the story goes and just how it all worked out for him. Uh, and I don't know. I'm not sure what else to say. Uh, you know, there's other people out there. That have been out for way longer. That have done stuff way longer for like like Hutch and C Nanners and Sark and all those guys. Those guys have done it together, together, for years, for year like since the very beginning of YouTube. Since 2009, they've made videos. They've all made videos, and they're not even close. They're not even at. I don't even know if they're at a million yet. I'm not. They they probably are. They're probably at a million or so. That's about it. And and fucking like uh, PewDiePie is like at 25 million. So. You know, he's got, like, almost, let's see, there's, like, seven, seven, eight billion people in the world. So, and then he's got, like, a quarter of a, of a billion. So, that's, like, I don't know. I don't know. Someone do the math on there. Put that, put, do the math and put it down in the commentary. Put it down in the comments. Anyways, I hope you guys like the video. Uh, I know I've been doing a lot of Black Ops stuff lately. There'll be some Minecraft coming out as well. Anyways, like the video and subscribe if you want more, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.